I went to school in Brookton. I'm a Nyunga, I'm a Baladong Wajak woman. And I was taught to be proud of my Aboriginal heritage, my language, so I grew up knowing my language. But I went to school, like I say, in Brookton, and was a, very much a high achiever from the very start. I was singled out as an Aboriginal person that um, could do as well as any other um, Australian child. And I think with that, that, with teachers telling me that I was um, a high achiever and with my parents' full support who, are, who were always my mentors, I believe that was, it was that that I wanted to go after education, that I wanted to, from a very early, early time in life, make a difference for our people. I wanted to be a teacher and so I pursued that dream. My first appointment was at Williams District High School, another um, town in, in Yungar District. From there I have, have taught various places across the state in remote areas as well as the metropolitan area. Um, I had ver held various roles, a a administration roles in Aboriginal education and then I suppose the pinnacle of my career was a district director of the Kimberley district um, for three years where I was in charge of um, the schools in, in the Kimberley. I'm now the chairperson of the West Australian Aboriginal Education and Training Council which is a ministerial council um, which operates to provide the ministers for, uh, for education and the Minister for Training with independent grassroots advice on education and training and obviously um, indirectly on employment. No matter what age, um, people can go and get themselves an education and education and training is a lifelong journey I say and so just continue to take the opportunities that come your way. My message to young people is to stay at school. There's no gimmicks about that. It, nobody else can take, do that education for you. Nobody else can do the training for you. And there's a whole lot of people out there, both in education, both in training, both employment, that want to be able to um, help young Aboriginal Australians, non-Aboriginal Australians as well, but want to help um, and support Aboriginal Australians. I guess my closing words would be, if it is to be, it's up to me. And so for all young Aboriginal Australians, go out there and go after your dream. For generations and generations, we believe that this great nation